Destiny of an Emperor. This is a pretty cool game. What should I name myself? Crudler. Cool, it all fits. So this is a game by Capcom. Came out in 90 or 91. Um, it's based on the Three Kingdoms novel. Although we were born on different days, we hope to die in the same hour of the same day of the same year. On our very souls, we pledge that this will be true. So this is the Peach Garden Oath that um, Liu Bei, Guan Yu, and Zheng Fei held. So you might recognize this as the exact same story that Dynasty Warriors is based on. Um, Dynasty Warriors, yeah, is awesome. Um, but before Dynasty Warriors, there was Destiny of an Emperor. Um, it's RPG by Capcom. Capcom didn't make too many RPGs back then, but they also made an um, arcade game based on the story too. Um, whose name escapes me, but it was pretty cool. Lube, listen, a group of rebels known as the Yellow Scarves is terrorizing the local people. You are the direct descendant of the Emperor of the Han Dynasty. It falls to you to bring justice back to the land. To the west is the castle of Tao Qian. I hear he is recruiting volunteer soldiers to subdue these insurrectionists. Tao Qian will need leaders for his volunteers. I made sure you had the best training. Now it's time to use what you know to bring civilization back to this land and carve out your place in history. Um, so these yellow scarves here rather than yellow turbans. Um, in history, the Yellow Turban Rebellion was a peasant rebellion. Um, in Dynasty Warriors and in the novel Three Kingdoms, um, they're kind of painted as the bad guys, whereas maybe that wasn't quite so true. Um, this guy just decides he wants to give me some cash. I'll take it. Um, talk to the horse. Eat a horse. Half-hearted nay. I mean, you talk to these two goons here and they will join you, but they kind of suck and it might not even be worth it. Um, Kui Xiaoping is never home. So this is something that you hear at the very beginning of the game that you have to know for much later and you forget and it's very confusing. This is Kui Xiaoping's house. Um, also, I apologize to anyone who speaks Chinese and how badly I'm mangling all the names. Um, I do what I can. Well, before we, what we need to do here is actually equip some stuff. So, for whatever reason, they gave Lu Bei both a flail and a dagger to start with. We'll have him equip his flail. He can hold on to the dagger. Guan Yu gets a flail and a robe. Zhang Fei gets a flail and a robe. If you don't equip the weapons, you will get wrecked. We can take a look at our generals. Liu Bei is our leader. It's pretty awesome. 182 25 for strength and int. Um, you can see the flail gives him 15 AP, which I think is attack power. Um, AC is armor construction or something. AC in every other game, armor class, but I think it, that's how it was described. TP is your tactic points. We'll learn about tactics a little bit later. Um, Guan Yu, 245, 180. He's awesome. Um, just like he is in history. Zheng Fei, 250, 75. Um, so he's kind of an idiot, but he will punch you to death. Um, you can see that wearing the robe gives some armor construction. Um, if you look, you can see that Liu Bei has a lot more soldiers than Guan Yu or Zheng Fei, so he probably doesn't need the armor right now. Um, this is basically a role-playing game where you have hit points, but the hit points are soldiers. And you're going to get a lot of soldiers murdered, but sleeping at the inn uh, brings all your soldiers back to life. So anyway, let's go see this guy about what's going on. I'm just going to tear into the castle here. I honestly don't think you even need to talk to this dude, but he'll be like, Oh, you're going to eliminate the yellow scarves. Oh, yeah, I've been wanting to do that for years, even though it just started. Uh, but I'm old and blah blah blah. I don't have an heir, so maybe that's gonna be you. Spoilers. All right, cool story. 
Um, what we can do, I think this is, but no, that's food. I'm gonna go over here. Now, unlike the other two goons, this guy isn't turds. So let's take a look at him. Mishi. Um, he's got a cool mustache. That's a win right there. Um, strength 73, int 157. So int is pretty good. Um, and we're gonna give him that dagger. So he's got something to punch monsters with. Oh, there's no monsters, there's only soldiers. So the fights can get kind of boring, but we'll, we'll, we'll get into that. Um, we're gonna make him the tactician. Um, and we don't have any tactics now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go beat some yellow scarf ass. Ha ha, you insolent fool, you think you can threaten us with such a small force? We'll crush you in one breath. That's actually pretty, pretty good compared to what they normally say when you um, attack a castle. It'd be nice if they said more things, but I assume a lot of this might be like translation. I usually it's just like, get them. Like, great, thanks. All right, so you can take a look at our enemy. He's pretty much terrible, but he's got um, good AP and AC, so he's probably gonna hurt a little bit. These rebel forces are just like your generic, um, just awful soldiers, and we don't really care. So when you're fighting, um, you could do battle and choose what everyone does, or you can just go all out and, and let the AI just do random stuff. And that's probably sufficient for this first fight, because we don't really care. And then I could just speed things along a little bit. Oh yeah, so it's even, even faster. Retreat, they are too strong. All right, we leveled up. Typically, you might have wanted to level up before hitting this first fight, but it doesn't matter too much. Um, Lian Ho is a fire spell, which is useful. Now, this guy will want to fight me, so I'm going to go to the inn first. And I will fight this guy. Hey boy, I'm Ma Yuan Yi. If you are foolish enough to attack the Yellow Scars, you will find your impertinence very costly. Go ahead, attack. All right. I'm not scared of this guy. He's got a lot of guns with him, but he kind of sucks. So, so let's let's use some let's use some tactics. Let's beat this guy up. Cheng Fei is not going to use tactics. He's an idiot. Boom! Eighty in one hit. Shank feet, that's 28, which is already pretty good. A note about damage. Your damage um, spells, I'm not quite too sure on, but um, for your regular attack, um, your strength is key. Your weapon, your AP is key. Um, but the order of magnitude of your men counts. So like, if you have 100 soldiers, you're gonna do a lot more damage than if you have 99. And then getting to 1,000 is the next order of magnitude. And if you're less than 10, you're just gonna be scratching them. So keep that in mind for how to, like strategically how to heal um, characters that may need it. We level up again. Um, only some characters gain more soldiers. Um, Huo Jian is like protection from fire, I think. Let me live and I'll give you some information. Go southwest and you will find Mount Da Zing, the citadel of the Yellow Scar, Zhang Bao, and his rebels are there. All right, so that's like a, a real fight, but I think Let's poke around in here. Um, nope. Maybe this cool shack here. I hear you're raising troops to destroy the yellow scars. My son Chen Deng is a martial arts master. I'm gonna join you and you will never regret it. Yes. All right, so now we have another decent soldier. Um, Yeah, whatever. You can hang out. I should probably go buy him something. What do you want? 
Oh, he knows black magic. Well, we know some black magic too. Let's head back to the castle here. There's a weapon shop right here. Let's see what we can get. Yeah. We'll get a flail. We'll give it to Chen Dang. Maybe we'll get a bandana and give that to Lu Bei. Another bandana. Give that to Guan Yu already. Oops. All right, equip that. Equip that. Equip that. Put a little bit of a hurt on people now. All right, let's do it. So this is where we wanted to hit. Blah, 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 blah. So Cheng Yuan Ji is there as well. He still sucks. And this guy has some intelligence. Now intelligence also is res affects resistance to tactics. Um, so I'd probably just apply on a punch, Cheng Bao, maybe hit um, Cheng Yuan Ji with, yeah. Spells beat him up a little faster. Castle's defensive rating increase. I'm not. I'm not sure if that ability is bugged. It never really worked. I never noticed the difference. You're out of tactic points. I should have rested before this fight, but it really doesn't matter that much. Speeding things along. Gonna focus our fire on Chang Bao because he could deliver the most hurt. And again, it's key. Ooh, that, that hurt hard. He used a heal spell to gain his life back, which is not fun. Just kind of a battle of attrition now, which we might lose. All right, so this should take out Shang Bao, and then we, we should win. Shang Fi might go down. If he gets hit again. All right, finish this up. Yeah, we made it. Oh yeah. No level up that time. All right. Sometimes there are treats hidden in these um, pots. I forget if there's one at this fortress. It's usually right here. No. Oh, yes. Um, I'm gonna give this to Shang Fei. He's my heaviest hitter. Um, oops. I'll give the flail to. As you only has a dagger. So I'll, I'll help him out. So now. Look at Guan Yu, he's got 15 AP. Shang Fei has 20. And, and um, I don't know if those numbers correlate to an entry in a formula, because um, it seems like 20 is way more significant than it sounds over 15. We don't care what any of these people have to say, there's nothing notable here. Here, I'm just gonna get back to heal up. Check some prices. Okay, so I'm gonna buy one steed. 
I'll just give it to Mishy. No. I can also sell stuff here. So I don't need this dagger anymore. Let's go whoop some more yellow scarves. No, we've, oh, there we go. We've been lucky not to have a random encounter. A lot of them are kind of boring like this one. Um, but you could also face off with generals and you could recruit generals if they no longer have any th like thing to do in the main story. Okay, this is our next target. So this is Zhang Jiao. This is the um, the crazy wizard guy with the fire staff and Dynasty Warriors. And he's kind of terrible, but better than any, anyone we fought. His brother Zhang Mao is an idiot. We can hit him with some, and this guy is also a big idiot. Um, so they should be really susceptible to fire spells, um, which I'm going to hit him with. So why don't we hit, um, just beat this guy up. Attack Shang Zhao, and you'll just use fire spells. I was going to use, yeah. So that kind of sucks. And it, it's barely scratching him now. That was bad luck, but that's okay. So he's below 100, um, which means he's going to do significantly less damage. Um, I'm going to still use fire spells on Han John because it's better than their default attacks. Maybe not. 15 kind of sucks. Yeah, Zhang Fei did 37 with the axe, right? Um, what's Guan Yu going to do? He did 22, so that's 20 versus 15 um, item. All right, we are out of tactic points, so I'm just gonna just gonna go nuts and speed things up. Oh boy, Guan Yu's in trouble. So typically we'd be a little bit more leveled up and we would get a probably get a heal spell by now. Um and I could have also bought healing items, which I didn't do. So I'm a little concerned. Ooh. Yeah, see heal is nine men and that did no damage. All right, so their most dangerous player is out of commission, but um, these guys can still beat me up. I want to get Hanjong below 100 to reduce the amount of damage. So Guan Yu's dead, that sucks. It means I have to buy a Resurrect, it's going to cost money. All right. I kind of think I'm just going to go all out now and hope for the best. Just beat them all up. And we level up. So now Zhang Fei has one more soldier than Guan Yu. They were the same up until now. Shui 2 is water spell. You have to be near water to use it though, so it wouldn't have helped if they used like protection from fire and then you can't use a water spell. Um, forget if there's a treat here as well. 
that in this one. Oh, it's actually a chest. Another axe. I'm gonna give this to Guan Yu. Because he hits the hardest. I don't think there's anyone else of note that we need to talk to here. Um, hopefully we can get back unscathed. This should be an easy fight. Tougher fight, but we'll do it. Putting the emulator on turbo is always a nice feature. So if um, if somebody dies, you have to use a resurrect, and you can buy those from this guy. I could do like a sell Guan Yu's flail. She's got an axe now. It's pretty good. That's for this next section. Um, if we had been talking to the townspeople, they would have explained it a little bit better. But um, they're stacked right here. You notice this cave that opens up. We can convince this guy um, to let us through. Here's exactly who he needs. This guy, Hanjong, we just fought him. He sucks. But. He's one of the yellow scarves. So if we could beat him up and convince him to join us, um, he could be our key into this place. We captured the general named Hanchong. What should we do with him? So you said convert, and he just was like, all right, fine, I'm in. Um, the reason why I bought the horse earlier was because he might request a horse. And then um, then you need to give him a horse. So you got to put him in front. And he will go tell this guy to build the bridge. Hey, I'm Hanjong, isn't that bridge finished yet? And then we're good to go. All right, beat these guys up. All right. Cheese is in, that is heal. And it's going to be super useful. Oh. Speed up is great. I mean, already the game was pretty quick with all out. Another axe. Maybe we just let Han Jong use it. Since he's not good for anything else. Most of them do better damage. Oh, we're getting close to the end fight. So what I want to do... How much does 
just want to heal up. Maybe just you. All right, so we just just make sure that you could take a little bit of a beating before getting under a hundred and inflict maximum pain. Oh my god! Oh, this is an easy fight. Who challenges me? Oh, Lube again? I'll destroy you this time. Now, if you went in the front way, you would get these three guys, you would get two other guys, and they would get to jump on you, and it's a pretty tough fight. And you would also would not have found that axe. Um, so, he's dumb, we can hit him with spells. These two are pretty rough. Have Lupe use spells for now. You should inflict inflict a decent amount of hurt and I'll go and use under a hundred. Boom. Boom. He only did twelve damage again because his strength is 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 terrible. Was it was it eighty? Um, I'm just going to have him heal, go on you. Good, heal him after we get punched. Again, I don't think Cheng Ni does anything. Yeah, Lu Bei does more damage than the Flail than Han Zhong does with the Axe. We got to get rid of him somebody better. Forty-four, nice. You know, I'm gonna just have you heal. Go on you. This is my last fire spell. It should put us in good place. Oh, you couldn't get it to a hundred? Oh. Alright, everyone hit Jang Jao. Let's win this. And done. I'm gonna go all out now and just win. Yes. Tough fight. We did it. Beautiful. Oh. Couldn't even get out of the cave. Weld, the Yellow Turban Rebellion, also known as the first map or so in Dynasty Warriors. That'll be it for this episode. Um, let's find out what's coming up next, next time. <laughs>